All right. Just like the circles earlier, you are going to do the same method. You bring your template to your foot to the inside, and the key is going to match your oval. Now this is a, a smaller oval, and again, why did I come to the inside of this one? Because can you see how small the template would have to be to be able to do that small? Mm -hmm. You just, it isn't going to be possible. So I can do, again, just like earlier, I can do chains. I can do chains either direction or think about this. Ovals can also be waves. So we try very hard with most of our templates designed for the long armors to put some type of registration marks. With most circles we're going to segment them into eighths, which means 90 degrees and your diagonals. That seems to be what's used the most. But let's say you needed another set of waves. Well, you can do that with this one. Now remember, you won't get a simple wave because what is an oval? An oval is always wider and than it is long, deep. So it gives you a different type of wave. If you don't want a wave that looks like that, then move up here to the two eighths. Use them as your marking method. Let's see if we can clean that off a little bit. So this time, I'm going to line up on these. I'm going to choose a different spot entirely. That's going to make it too small for me. I'm going to create my own set of lines, registration marks, and If it's not giving you what you want, then make it give you what you want. They're tools. They don't get to dictate what you do with them. Nice shallow wave. 